part of the fun of side order being close, but not too close, is that we still have time for lots of speculation. And lots of speculation means fake facts. Who knows? Maybe one of these will end up being true in the end. But here's 25 fake facts about side order to keep you busy for now. One of the biggest mysteries of side order is how Agent 8 even ended up in this facility in the first place. Well, here's the truth. They were accidentally sent flying through the air via an opponent's ultra stamp all the way through a window of the Spire of Order. After they got there, they were immediately captured. What a shame. Ooh, ooh. And you can't forget about Deadfish. Part of being a DJ means long hours at that turntable. You ever think they got hungry? Well, this time, they really wanted some chips. Too bad when they found the Spire of Order late at night, all there was inside was little colored chips. Oh, and the door got locked. Whoops. <laughs> How does Pearlbot keep functioning and flying around without a visible power source? She can spin the long tentacles of her head to generate extra electricity. Wish I could do that with my arms. The real reason why the landscape of Side Order is white is because Marina really wanted to go on a ski trip. However, she still hasn't come back. And on top of that, the company in charge of setting this whole thing up sure didn't bring snow. The more letters of side order present in a weapon class's name, the stronger they'll be in the Spire of Order. That's why 8 is using dualies in the trailer. It's got D, I, E, and S. Shooter is also good too with four letters, but hey, dualies are basically a step away from being a shooter, right? You see those boxes in the back, like grabbing stuff and putting it away for later? Yeah, um, those are sentient. They're called the yoinkers. They take stuff and they grab it, then they let it out and they do it over again. If you get really close, you can hear them go yoink, 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 yoink. One thing Agent 8 wishes she had brought to the Spire of Order was a pair of glasses. All of that light-based technology is really bright. Uh, maybe we can bring them a pair when we play the DLC. Because the fish-like creatures in Side Order aren't real, they actually don't frenzy up when you feed them fish food. All it does is make them smell gross while they're still trying to attack you. Yikes. Trying to program the Spire of Order to conjure a Splatfest in the plaza only makes the computer ask which team should have won the Splatfest. Order? Order? Or order? They're all silver in color too. I, I don't think that's gonna work. And why is the plaza trying to make a three-team Splatfest anyway? This is supposed to be based on Splatoon 2. Hey, despite this being the second time that Agent 8 has been forced against their will to escape from somewhere they didn't want to be, one thing remains the same. No pockets. No pockets on their outfit. Come on! When the Spire of Order was originally under construction, it was going to be a chocolate milk factory. That's why they have those giant tubes inside. I, I promise, it's not chocolate milk anymore, though. It's... Vanilla flavored. Uh, sometimes when Agent 8 wants to take a nap, they dress up dead fish to look like them. That way, they can rest in peace. The, the sleeping kind, not the sleeping with the fish's kind. After all, those fish only care about splatting 8. Speaking of 8, Agent 8's best attempt at climbing the Spire of Order was actually when they let a coin flip decide all of their upgrade choices. If only they could remember what the options were that worked the best now. Sometimes the Spire of Order, speaking of, just uh, has a moment. You see that big, explosive, glitchy animation there on the screen? Uh, don't worry about that, that's normal. In fact, it's so normal that there's an alarm that goes off inside the building so inhabitants inside know to walk away from there for just a moment. If you take all the letters of side order and rearrange them a little, you get dire e erodes. Uh, what does that mean? Well, wouldn't you want to know? Um, uh, w when something is dire, it's a serious situation. And you wouldn't want this whole tower uh, eroding away before we solve the mystery of the spire, right? Although, 
I, I guess you wouldn't be trapped anymore. You know how enough water can splat an inkling or octoling? Please do not throw it at the fish if you find any. It just makes them slide towards you faster. Not fun. The Spire of Order will know if you try to hack the system to inflate your score. Imagine jumping into a level without your ink tank and having to fist fight all those fish. Well, um, that's what you'll be doing if you think of installing any mods, so please don't do it. Because of the constant white haze outside of the new and improved side order plaza, it's hard to tell what time it is when Pearlbot isn't around. One cool trick that Deadfish was using was to take a water source and let it slowly drip on the opposite side of the room. When the puddle of water reached her, uh, wakey wakey time. <laughs> Easy fix. The scoring system implemented by the Spire of Order was created simply because there's no Judd or Little Judd out there. Who would be able to judge the turf war battles of all these fish? No one. There's a weird bug present within the Spire of Order that Deadfish found out about completely on accident. Did you know that if you start making little ticking noises at a very specific beat, the enemy fish will start to move to that beat? They, they still want to destroy you though, so don't get too mesmerized for too long. The sitting duck valley floor of the Spire of Order was originally designed to pelt you from all sides with rubber ducks instead of fish-like opponents. But the design was thrown out before it reached finalization. Sigh. It's rumored the Spire of Order is extremely slippery. This is to prevent sneakier octolings from trying to shimmy their way straight up the tower from the outside. A, a couple have tried, but uh, they got captured again, and then the Yoinkers got them. Man, it's hard to eat a good meal at the Spire of Order when you're wearing just a white suit. Imagine, imagine all the spills, all the stains. Not a fact, just a complaint. But carry on, did you know? Fishing rods are a better tool for eight to use to wrangle Pearlbot back inside the elevator than actually to grab any of those weird fish in the Spire of Order. The hook just goes like right through them. Ew. And last but definitely not least, did you know the easiest way to defeat this particular side order boss is just to, just to walk over and, and push it over? It's like a giant spinning top. Too bad none of us can go tell Eight that. Probably was gonna end up being some long fight sequence when all you gotta need is a little muscle. Do you feel more informed? Is your answer no? Good, I've done my job. That's it, that's it. Now you wait for side order. I wait for side order too, but now you've got a couple more fake facts bouncing around in your head, and who knows? Maybe you have some of your own. Maybe you have some new ones that you could tell me. Maybe you can turn my fake facts into real facts when the actual side order comes out. Regardless, thank you for listening. I hope you had a laugh. And make sure to subscribe for more shenanigans in the future. That's all for me. Have a good one.